report a story we've been tracking the controversy over a decision by the government to actually cap the tuition fees for the family of martyrs and those disabled. Today, a disabled veteran spoke to NDTV saying, why do we have to beg like this? This had actually come this decision after recommendation of the 7th PA Commission. The Army Chief also spoke out and the Defence Minister today indicated that there will be a rollback. In 1987, this man was on a rescue mission in Sri Lanka, racing his tank along railway tracks to get to Jaffna where Indian soldiers were surrounded. He was hit by shrapnel from a rocket-propelled grenade. It took out his eye and his left hand. The Colonel of Veer Chakra Awardee with an 80% disability is astounded at the government's cap on education allowances for children of martyrs, those disabled or those missing. He had used these funds to educate both his daughters when he quit the army because of his injuries. Why are we begging? We must stop this rot of constantly denigrating the armed forces on some pretext or the other. Today, in a movement to show that the government still cares, the stipend to Gallantry Award winners has been doubled. A Paramvir Chakra will now get a monthly stipend of 20,000 rupees and Ashoka Chakra Awardee will get 12,000 rupees. While this is welcome, the service chiefs clearly want the cap on education allowances to be removed. We have written to the government and I think the defense minister is completely seized with the problem. She is aware of what has happened and she says after we explained the reasons to her that in some cases the, you know, the emoluments may have to be higher. So it is whatever the person is paying, she says she is certainly concerned about this and will address the issue on priority. Today the defense minister held meetings with the ex-servicemen's department, a prelude to a possible reversal. This government is never against the will of uh, particularly our soldiers, particularly our gallantry award winners, particularly, uh, you know, those disabled soldiers. For now, the word out of the Defence Ministry is that due procedure will be followed should this decision be reversed. Vishnu Shom for NDTV.